Have you ever wanted to sleep at a boring Zoom meeting without anyone noticing? Or did you ever want to record a video without memorizing a long tedious script? Well now you can with the new AI technology from NVIDIA. This new AI technology can redraw your eyes to make it look like you're looking at the camera. In fact, while I'm filming this video, it might seem like I'm looking at the camera, but I'm actually watching some Netflix while I'm shaving my head and balancing a glass of water on the top of my head. And the AI filters all of that away. Isn't that amazing? No, but in all seriousness, this AI technology can actually redraw your eyes to make it look like you're having eye contact. And it has a few other cool features, which I'm going to show in this video. For example, it can improve improve the quality of your video and sound and it can even remove your background without the need of a green screen and it does a pretty good job as well in this video i will show you exactly how to get this program it's free and it's pretty easy to use and afterwards i will show all the features and how to use them it's really easy to use so just follow along with the video and you will have it set up in no time so first of all we need to get the nvidia broadcast software to get these amazing features uh, on our recording devices. I will link this website in the description, but first, before we download anything, you need to make sure that you have the correct system requirements. Well, this is probably gonna make a bunch of you click away, rip my retention rate in this video. Uh, but to start out, you're gonna need, uh, well, at least Windows 10, 64 bit, and this is Nvidia special software so you're gonna need an nvidia gpu and you're gonna need at least an rtx 2060 also the quadros and titans work uh, but most people most uh, consumers don't use that it's more for like editors and uh, companies i think but yeah at least a 2060 uh, i myself am rocking a 3060 so that's fine just anything above and you're gonna need at least eight gigabytes of RAM or higher. And for the CPU, uh, at least an Intel Core i5 processor or an AMD Ryzen R5, 2600 or higher. And you're also gonna need this uh, Nvidia Studio driver, uh, at least this version. You can download that driver over here or you can just go to your GeForce experience and update over there to the latest driver. Then you should be good to go and you're ready to download the software. Okay, when it's done downloading, just click the executable over here. Agree to the terms. Ah, you can just pick Express, that's fine. That's the easiest one. All right, it's finished with installing. Let's close this one up right here. Nvidia Broadcast will start up automatically when you're done installing. And then we're in, we're in the program and we can start uh, tweaking around the settings uh, to fit our desires let's start out with the camera under the camera tab because that is the most interesting one in my opinion first of all you need to pick your camera over here i myself have two cameras set up i don't know what all of these other bullshit things are but i do have a webcam but that one i mostly use for work and not for recording because the quality is pretty shit uh, i believe i used one of these two that's just my phone <laughs> plugged into my computer i uh, use one of these as my camera let's click on this one no nothing is happening perhaps it's this one yeah there we go that's me <laughs> what a handsome fella okay so the first thing that might be interesting uh to set up over here is the eye tracking thing uh first just put uh, your desired resolution in over here some, cam some cameras have the options to have multiple uh, resolutions. Then scroll down to effects and over here you can add the different types of effects that you want. Uh, background blur is here uh, currently. But let's start out with eye contact beta. Let's switch it on. And as you can see right now, my eyes are currently redrawn and it seems like I'm looking at the camera, but I'm actually not. To prove this, I'm gonna move this NVIDIA broadcast thing over here. And then I'm gonna bring in my OBS studio camera 
and that one is actually giving me the live camera feed right now so as you can see on the left thing that is where i am currently really looking at and the right one is uh, nvidia just uh, redrawing my eyes and making it appear like uh, i'm actually looking at the camera so i could be looking at a script currently and just reading up an entire script and you would never notice <laughs> so that's a really cool feature in my opinion uh, i'm going to show you guys the other effects as well let's turn this one off for a sec so that we can focus on the other ones uh, let's take a look at background blur so if we turn this on you can see that uh, my background is blurry and this uh, in certain situations this could give a very like professional uh, professional camera vibe even though you might not have a professional camera setup it can make uh, make your entire experience feel more professional unfortunately you can't add more than two at a time so let's just uh, continue changing this one around to take a look at the other features well background replacement that's pretty much the same thing as removal uh, so let's do removal first ah, as you can see my background is gone and i could take this uh, i could take this video source uh, without any background and i can edit myself to be on top of something else uh, like for example on top of a game or on top of some news article or some clips you can do whatever the heck you want with this it's pretty cool and as I said, uh, you can also use the background replacement. Uh, it automatically puts up a background, ri background right now. But as you can see, you can also pick one. Uh, just pick anything you want from your own PC. And then that will be your background uh, with the background removal in place. You don't need a green screen or anything. Uh, it's really, really cool. There's also auto frame. So if I move around, the camera is gonna follow me hello hello <laughs> hello this might be useful if you're really that type of kind of bouncing around kind of twitch streamer you know you're constantly moving about uh perhaps rec reacting to stuff uh, or there are other reasons that you need to move around well this with this feature is really cool it just follows you automatically i personally like to do the tracking stuff uh, myself in editing but there are of course plenty of reasons and it's also more efficient to just have the tracking done for you uh, by this technology now let's take a look at video noise removal so this one will basically clean up your video uh, if it has a kind of like that static feel to it you know not so crispy clear video then it will clean that up for you with ai technology uh, but of course my <laughs> my video is kind of of pretty good quality already so you're not gonna notice a huge difference with me but if you're filming with a low resolution webcam or something uh, this can actually really clean up your image a lot then there's also vignette it can uh, yeah give your video that extra like cinematic vibe with the little black edges uh, over here but uh, once again i myself as a professional video editor prefer to add this uh myself at editing <laughs> but if you if you don't want to use it for editing or if you just want to have it all the time then uh, yeah this might be a good feature as well next up there's this thing at the microphone which is also pretty cool it's called a uh, noise removal uh, so you can turn this on or off if you have it on uh, when you're recording it will remove like fan noises and static and other uh, like keyboard sounds it will try to remove that as much as possible so that you're left with just a clean version of your audio they also have uh, room echo removal which is also pretty cool so if you're recording in a room that has some echo uh, this will just automatically remove that you can also make the noise coming from your speakers sound more crispy and without noise i guess that might be cool if you're 
watching some YouTube videos, but you're kind of annoyed by background noise noises or something. I personally never use this. I don't know what the use case might be for something like this. But if you know something, then uh, please enlighten me by dropping a comment. And finally, I want to show you guys how you can use this with actual recording software. For example, I'm using OBS. So I'm going to show you guys how it works with OBS. Uh, so let's go to the camera back again and let's say that I'm using uh, two things. I'm using background blur, right? And I'm using vignette. So we have this like uh, altered reality uh, image right now. But as you can see in my OBS, the image is still uh, the way it used to be without any altercations <laughs> so what we need to do for that is add a new video source that has these changes passing through it beforehand before it is uh, coming into OBS and how you do that is like this just click on this uh, plus button video capture device add a new video capture device and then you just need to pick camera Nvidia broadcast it's that easy and as you can see right now, currently, uh, the picture in my OBS is, uh, is altered. And this is just the official image that is coming in that is recording in OBS right now. I can also switch, of course. I can turn this one off, go back to my regular one or put the effects back on. You know, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how it works in OBS. And I imagine it works in a similar way in other recording devices, like with Teams or Zoom or something. I imagine you just need to pick this NVIDIA broadcast as, uh, as your video source. And then the effects, will, the effects that you want, that you put in the software will be applied automatically. And yeah, you can just enjoy your professional crispy clear video quality automatic eye contact everything you want uh, it's just applied automatically it's that easy and then i have one final tip for you once you download this software it is going to start up automatically in your taskbar so if you don't want to make any mistakes if you don't want to accidentally uh, leave on your eye contact software when you, when you didn't intend to do or anything like that just make sure to just click the software <laughs> away over here you know click and then quit then it will not uh, be functional until you start it up again or just remove the effects in the software and then it won't be doing anything either drop a like if this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe and then i'll see you next time bye bye